Your question, David Bennett. Okay. No, primary question. Oh, primary question. The Honourable David Bennett. To the Minister of Corrections. Does he stand by all his statements, actions and policies regarding his corrections portfolio? The Honourable Andrew Little. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, yes. Why, when he has taken numerous papers to Cabinet regarding Waikaria Prison, has his government not made a decision regarding Waikaria Order, Prison? Mr. Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Ian East Galloway. Mr Speaker, on four occasions, the member Louise Upston queried the absence of a member. She knows she must not do that. Well, I, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't pick it up. The Honourable Louise Upston is, a, is order, order. Sorry, I should have stood up, and that might have stopped the uh, Louise Upston from interjecting while I was ruling. Um, the member is a senior member. She knows what the rules are. She must not do it, uh, and um, and she will not do it again. Um, the Honourable Andrew Little. Sorry, Mr. Speaker, I don't want to cause the Honourable Member David Bennett to have more exercise today, but I. I can't quite recall the detail of the question. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we all have memory lapses in this house, apparently. Uh, <laughs> supplementary question. Why, when he has taken numerous papers to Cabinet regarding Waikaria Prison, has his government not made a decision regarding Waikaria Prison? Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, the, this government inherited the tail end of a decision from the previous government to invest a billion dollars into a mega prison, and the new government sought to review the details of that proposal so that a good decision could be made a, about the long term future of the prison. Point of order, the Honourable David Bennett. Um, there has never been any mention of a mega prison uh, by the, uh, in any government um, uh, documents. Um, that member is misleading the House well, with that look, comment. Sorry, sorry, is he. Has the member got a point of order? Yes, he's misleading well, what, the no, House. No, the member will resume his seat, and, and he's, going to, he's going to make very clear which standing order or speaker's ruling he's referring to, uh, if, he's going, if he's going to take a point of order, because at the moment he sounds like he's trying to usurp my role where I take responsibility for making sure that the answers are in order. And so far this answer was certainly in order. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Yes, a point of order, the Honourable David Bennett. Um, what is it? 380B. 380B, where um, the, the member mentioned me uh, mega prison. There has never been in any official oh, document good, the sake. word. The member will resume his seat. Um, I, you know, I, 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 well, I'm. Does the member want to have another supplementary? Well, where you go. Given that serious crime has increased by 4% in the last quarter, but the prison population has risen only by 2%, does he expect more or fewer serious criminal offenders to be imprisoned? Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, I think that member trivialises the reality of criminal offending statistics in this country because... because Order. The member, the member will let the minister finish the question. If he has a point of order by the end of it, I will hear him. The, uh, what, what the figures show is that over an extended period of time, a number of years, serious criminal offending has gone up. We know that there is serious pressure on the prison population, and this government, with its long-term objective of reducing the prison population, has to manage very carefully the short-term pressures on the prison system and the long-term wish to reform our criminal justice system so that it is safe and effective. Point of order. A point of order, the Honourable David Bennett. I take offence when the Minister said that I trivialise these matters and we're asking to withdraw and apologise. You, you can, but I'm not going to require him to. Uh, further supplementary? Point of order. That surely, Mr Speaker, has to be a breach of standing order 120. Why? Referring to saying that a person is trivialising something as, as important oh, for, as... For, for, good, for, for, for goodness sake, I'm vaguely tempted to repeat Ron, um, 
Ron Mark's offence yesterday. Members need, to, members need to be able to take a little bit of cut and thrust at question time and being offended by, by saying that being offended being offended by saying that someone is trivialising an issue is a level of sensitivity uh, which any Member of Parliament should be able to handle. Uh, Matt King will withdraw and apologise. Sorry, Matt King will withdraw and apologise. I've, I've done nothing, I've said nothing. I did nothing, I said nothing. Uh, what did the, I say? The order, withdraw and apologise. The Member will resume his seat. Man. The Member interjected while I was on... Yes, the member did. I saw him. He was loud. I heard him. He mightn't have used words, but he certainly interrupted. <laughs> Matt King. No, Matt King is going to withdraw and apologise. <laughs> withdraw and apologise. He made a very loud noise. He's not a small man, and he made a... <laughs> Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'd like you to please reflect on uh, the advice you just gave the House about members being overly sensitive, because we've seen plenty of examples of that today. Yes, and, and no, the member will resume her seat. What, what I'm saying is making uh, noises which are not, um, not words in English, but noises... <laughs> Noise, noises that might be more commonly heard in a barnyard are not appropriate. <laughs> David Bennett. Point of order. A point of order, the Honourable Jerry Browning. How is effectively accusing a member of this House of making a barnyard noise not a personal reflection? Well, I, I should probably have called it a loud guffaw um, of, of the type um, certainly not heard normally in this place. Supplementary question, David Bennett. Why is he removing the performance measures of the number of prison escapes, the number of prisoner on prisoner assaults that are serious, the number of prisoner on staff assaults that are serious from being made public? when this trivial and incompetent government is supposed to be an open and transparent government? Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, that question requires a level of detail that is not foreshadowed in the primary question. I do, simply do not have that information. Point of order. A, a point of order, the Honourable David Bennett. It was in the Budget last week. That, that member um, cannot say that it's uh, something that he does not know about. He signed off on that Budget. He would have read it. Order, the member will resume his seat. Question number six, Tamati Coffee. <laughs> oh, sorry, Barbara Kurja. Sorry, I, I didn't realise it further. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When will the Minister make a decision on Waikiria Prison to provide clarity for the Otrahonga and Waipa communities? Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, we expect a decision in a matter of weeks, and specifically in relation to Waikiria. And I make no apology for the delay in making a decision because it has been a, a difficult one and it is a long-term one. And one, Order. One, one reason for which we are not making the decision is, as the member who asked the question wanted, an economic development initiative by building another prison. A point of order of the Honourable yeah. Jerry Browning. When is the Honourable Paula Bennett uh, able to come back into the House? Um, at, a, at a time I decide, uh, and I will inform her uh, when that is. Question number six, Tamati Coffey. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Research, Science and...